When you're using virtual or MIDI instruments here in GarageBand, there's two ways to control how loud they sound. There's the volume fader and then there's velocity. Now, what is the difference? Well, in this video, I'm going to let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record and release your best music. And what we're doing today is creating in GarageBand on the iPhone, although the iPad has the exact same principle. And the principle we're talking about is the difference between volume and velocity and how these two work together here in GarageBand. So let's jump in and take a look now. So some quick background here. Now, velocity is a control that's here in our MIDI instruments. If we tap and we tap on edit, we can come in here to our MIDI information and every note we tap on, we can then tap velocity and we can adjust this velocity slider from very low up to very high. Now, traditionally, MIDI velocity is anything from zero, which is right down here, up to 127. Now, here in GarageBand, we don't get as accurate a view, but keep in mind that that's the overall range that we have and we can choose everything else in between. So let's come out here and let's take a listen first of all to what a high velocity sound. So this drum part is all high velocity and we've got it at that medium volume. Let's hit play. And on the drum kit, and this is the thing to keep in mind with MIDI instruments, the actual sound you'll get may vary based on the velocity. So when we're talking about velocity, we're talking generally about how hard something is hit as opposed to just how loud it is. So let's explain this by playing our medium velocity drums now. Take a listen to these. So same volume over here, so same volume on the volume slider, but our velocity, if we come in here and we go to edit and we take a look at the velocity of some of these notes, in fact, all of these notes, it is here around the medium level. Let's now take a listen to velocity on a low level and the same volume. So here is our drums with a low velocity, but that same volume. So you can barely hear it there, yeah. So let's just do a quick comparison here. So what if we were to drop the volume down here of our high velocity, have medium volume on our medium velocity, and then high volume on our low velocity. Let's take a listen to these one by one as we go through and see if we can get sort of a balanced sound here. So as we go through those, yes, look, we've got the volumes at completely different levels, but because of the velocity of these instruments, they're actually being around about the same. So that's the concept that I'm going to show you here is that velocity is similar but different to volume. And if you have the lower you have the velocity, then the lower the sound is in terms of how hard it seems to be hit, whereas volume just controls exactly how loud the perceived volume of that sound is. Let's show another example here now using our electric piano. So we have the same setup here with our electric piano. Let's solo this first one. Now this is at high velocity and it sounds like this. And let's move on to our medium velocity piano. And we'll go straight into our low. So once again, you can see that these are all at the same volume, but we're getting three very different sounds there. Let's do the same thing here. Let's turn down our volume, make it medium and make it high. And you'll hear that even though these are all different volumes, because of the velocity of those instruments, they're going to be around about the same. So even that last one there is a little bit quieter there because once you get to low velocity, it's a really subtle kind of sound. So what is the takeaway here? So this is interesting stuff, Pete, but what can this do for my tracks? Well, the thing to keep in mind is that you don't always want to just turn your volume up or down. If something is too light, quiet or too loud, changing the volume is one way. But when you have a virtual instrument, you may want to change the attack or how hard that is hit. And that's where we can come in here to our velocity and change our velocity controls here to actually adjust the sound of the virtual instrument. Now, is this applicable for every instrument? Well, no. Some of your instruments, some of your synth sounds, it won't really matter. It won't change the sound. So velocity and volume basically become two separate volume sliders. But keep in mind that with a lot of your virtual instrument here, there is a difference between velocity and your volume.